guys, but he can match up with either guard spot. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Thompson with it. Curry is inside, guarded by Bradley. And the basket by Curry. Oh, under intense defensive pressure, Steph rises above. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Lakers. He kicks it to Davis. The pass to McGee. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Poked away. It's stolen by Curry. Fast break. Here they come. And stolen by LeBron. And it's the Lakers on the break. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Davis gets to the line a whole lot. And, and people don't talk about it, but he's an excellent foul shooter. About 80% most seasons. Shooting two. No good on that one. And as he's aged in the league, Anthony Davis's offense has changed. It now much more of a face-up player. Well, and that's where his game's been headed. His shot has improved, and he can step out to the three, facing up and letting him use his burst. It lets him maximize what he can do. Yeah, and, and the fire Davis plays with, I mean, it's so special. This guy wants to win and will do whatever it takes to do. And that one's good, Wigan. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Bradley with the ball, and Curry picks him up defensively. LeBron outside, passes it to McGee. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. This is where McGee's coaches and teammates want him to shoot from. They know he can do damage in there with his hops. Wiggins drives in. Great D that time from Davis. Does what he can to avoid the block. I mean, it's hard to stay in control when you change your shot. It's Bradley on the wing. McGee dishes to Davis. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Davis. Oh, he's big enough to cause damage inside. Thomas gets sent to the strike. And so invaluable to your offense to have somebody like Clay Thompson spacing the floor. Uh, I've said it, and I keep saying he's the most underrated player in the league. Shooting 42% from beyond the arc for his career now. But what's amazing is in eight full years, he's never shot below 40 from three in one single season. And he'll lock you down on D. Few players, if any, can claim that. What you love about Thompson, I mean, the competitive nature. He loves to play the game. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Green. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Avery Bradley. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and, and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. Thompson with the bucket. And this is Thompson's calling card. A lethal three-point shooter with unlimited range. Caldwell Pope outside. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Here's Rondo, and he finishes nicely on the way. A guy that simply brings toughness to the hardwood. Rondo, he isn't bothered by a little contact. One oh six left in the first quarter of the game. Tries it from 19. Toscano misses. 
And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something. It's rarely a good idea. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Here's Looney over Howard. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And for a guy with the shoot first mindset, Thompson is about as unselfish a teammate as you'll find. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And the Lakers with some changes. Morris comes in for Davis. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for LeBron. The Warriors also with a sub. Poole's checked in. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Curry passes to Poole. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Such a smart read by Curry. He has an uncanny ability to know whenever one of his guys is open. Rondo with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. And Looney sends it back. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Here's Toscano. And no good that time. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Here's Kuzma. And the rejection by Curry. Oh, look at that. You see, you see, that shows what kind of athlete Curry is. His quickness to the ball. Get that shot out of here. Eight seconds left in the first. From deep. The long distance three is buried. Curry's got five points so far. You know what? The area code just doesn't matter with these guys. Their stuff just dropping bombs. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Warriors lead by five. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. It's always good to see you, Marianne, especially when I have plenty of good news. So, Greg, as you know, we asked Steph Curry, a great self-motivator in his own right, who holds you to the highest standard? And here's what he had to say. Oh, my wife, for sure. No, never ever want to disappoint her. She shoots it to me straight. That's the biggest thing, whether I play well or not. I don't get too big of a head or I don't feel too... Sounds like he's got a good team, both at home and right here in front of us. Steph has already put up a Hall of Fame career, but you can tell he doesn't feel anywhere near being done. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game uh, stance-wise? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. We've got Caldwell Pope. Marky Morris is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Howard. And it's Caruso in a point guard. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Here's Smilagic. Pass to Pascal. Here's Poole. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Poole's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Warriors. Caldwell Pope finds Kuzma. Tipped away. Not the guy you expect to be missing the bunt. And last year, Pascal had to do more than probably was expected of him. But this year, a much different story. Well, even in college, he played a more complimentary role to the stars around him. Well, the Warriors have a lot of stars, and Pascal is really thriving in his role. That free throw, no good. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogman. I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right. I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But sure. the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact. Uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. 
It was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. A little bit of physicality from Brad. Taking the knock, fighting through it. To